this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We're here with the Boxing Bookie. Uh, we're going to show you how to bring down the house. We're going to show you how to make money on a home run. I showed you last week how to make money on Cardenas, uh, Ramon Cardenas and Pedroza. I showed you how to make money on the Nakatani fight, but I showed you how to take down the house on the Ramon Cardenas win. I told you he was going to win that fight. I uh, hope you all listened and made some money on that. But I got another one, and this is a steal because the odds on this are mwah. The odds on this are beautiful. We're having a little thunderstorm here in Fort Worth, but I'm going to show you nonetheless on uh, how to make a bunch of money. Um, um, Zhang, Joyce, two, the rematch. It's going to be repeat or revenge. I'll, I'll, I'll disclose that to you. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, on all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Book comes at you for every fight, show you how to make money on every single fight uh, that we can. Uh, please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery all right guys um like i said i showed you how to take how to make money i showed you how to bring down the house last week this week's even better this is a home run this is a great day to make fights this is a great fight to make money on um joyce and zang fought early in the year zang broke him down uh really swelled joyce's eye ended up taking him down in the sixth round via tko um I don't see this fight being much different. I, I don't know what either guy is going to do much different. Look, Joyce isn't some high-level athlete. He's a basic guy. I don't mean that to be insulting. He's basic. He jabs, right? And he doesn't really take a lot of shots. He doesn't wind up. So I, I don't see him getting Zhang out early. I, I, I don't see that. Also, Zhang's a bigger guy. Zhang is 270. He outweighs him by 20 pounds. He can wear Zhang. Zhang can wear Joyce down quicker than Joyce can wear him down. So I see that happening. On top of that, I just think Joyce is tailor made for Zhang, right? Like I said, Zhang, he's in front of you. He's Joyce is smaller than you than, than Zhang, right? And he's right in line for that right hook from Zhang or the straight left hand, right? Zhang is a southpaw. It's bigger, stronger. I think he hits harder, although it's probably pretty close. Um, Zhang's a, a beast that's going to wear you down, and, and, and Joyce is not a mover, so he's not really going to get out of the way, make you miss. Joyce can go to the body, and that's his one saving grace. If he can win this fight, it's because he broke him down to the body. Okay, He doesn't do it much, though. He can do it. He can throw body shots. He's good at it. He just doesn't do it much. Uh, also, like I said, he's slow, right? He's wide. So when he does, he's going to be getting hit back in return. Right, so I, I don't see him actually. I really don't see a path to victory for Zhang, for for Joyce, and I really don't see this fight going the distance. We're going to show you how to make money on that, right? So everything is there. Um, you know, I, I don't think Joyce. You know, I've, I've I've knocked Joyce enough. I don't think Joyce is a bad heavyweight. I don't think he's a bad fighter. I think he's a good fighter. I think he's just basic. I think he's tailor made for Zhang. Right, like um, if you're going to beat Zhang, you're going to have to move. You're going to have to throw in combination, and and Joyce. Doesn't throw in combinations, and neither does Zhang. Zhang throws in better combinations than than, than Joyce does. Um, I, you know, I, I'm not saying Joyce is going to lose because Zhang is a southpaw. He's going to lose because he stands in front of him. He doesn't move, and he's slow, right? Like, that's why Joyce is going to lose, and I don't really see a path to victory for him. I don't know what he's going to do. Like, if, if you said in the first fight, what does Joyce have to do? What's Joyce going to do? He did that. So what's going to be different this time? I really don't see much of a difference. So, you know, like I said, Zhang's going to break him down. Zhang's going to wear him down. And, and the way I see it, if I had to make a prediction, I would say Zhang knocks him out somewhere between rounds five and eight. So we're going to show you how to make a ton of money on that. I'm going to pull this up. We're going to go to DraftKings. We try to always use DraftKings. Big DraftKings fan. They're giving you a lot to bet on. Okay, so... Zhang within the distance between five and eight. What does that make us? 
I'm going to show you how to make money on this. So the best bet on this thing right here is the fight goes the distance. No, that's a two times bet. It's minus 170. A $200 bet is going to make you 117.64. Okay? So you walk away with your, 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 your 200 and then an additional 117.64. Zhang to win the fight on the money line makes you 76.92. Like those odds are really good. Price is basically even money to win. It's not good, guys. Like, this is good odds for Zhang. Zhang's gonna win this fight and he's gonna stop him. Um, so that's gonna make you 76.92. So, so you're already walking away with almost three hundred dollars here. I mean almost two hundred dollars. Uh over three hundred dollar bet, which is really good for something that's going to happen. And now this is where we really make the money. Okay, I said five to eight. I I, I think to to me, the best bet is this. Uh, but we're going to bet both of them. So you're going to bet four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So you're going to lose one of them, right? But you're not going to lose both of them because this is the most likely thing that's going to happen. Bet 850. Uh, bet 100. You win 850 if he knocks him out in four, five, or six, which he did in the first fight. He knocked him out in the sixth. He's going to pay you 850. If he heads that, 789 pays you 600. So look, you're going to win either 850 or 600 off a $200 bet. Worst case scenario, let's say he knocks him out in the eighth round. Let's say he knocks him out in the eighth. $200 bet makes you $600. It's three to one, right? Best case scenario, the two hundred dollar bet makes you eight fifty. So you're gonna be walking away with eight fifty plus the two hundred that you made on Zhang winning within the distance. So you're gonna make ten fifty on a five hundred dollar bet if he did what he did last time. If it goes longer, so what? You walk away with eight hundred bucks of a five hundred dollar bet. You're five hundred. Plus another 800. This is a home run. Like, I thought the Cardinals fight was a home run. This is a home run. This 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 is an opportunity to make a lot of money. It's a lot of, you can make a lot of money on this fight. Like, I don't see a path to victory, and this thing definitely ain't going to, the best odds I've seen in, in a while. Shout out to DraftKings. Now, I don't gamble. If we go back to it, I'm going to pull it up again. You can see, I, I, I don't bet. I'm just telling you how you can make some money. Um, Draft King's odds here are phenomenal. I'm in Texas. I can't even bet if I wanted to. Can't do it, right? So this is uh, if, if betting on sports is your thing, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, so. The Boxing Book is happy to show you how to bring down the house and make a ton of money on boxing. I did it last week with Ramon Cardenas. I'm doing it this week again, and we're going to have a bunch of other shows this week. I'm going to show you how to make a ton of money. Uh, everyone check out The Boxing Book. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please follow the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is September 19th, 2023. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.